this video you can see how to make Dynas robot car with a live camera. It is exciting fun project. It very low cost. Let me show you how. Stick around because there is a special giveaway contest at the end. So let's get started. The whole idea behind this project is create a robot car with a PCB chassis. Just as well designed circuit boards. This only saves space but also keeps cost low. To get started, I quickly designed the PCB. But we need to make sure the design is ready for production. To check that, I am using fantastic free tool called HQDFM. With one click, it is generate detailed manufacture ability reports for our PCB. You can use their online version which doesn't require sign up process. Perfect from basic DFM checks. However, to access full functionality including DFM and PCB analysis, we will use the desktop version. After a complete analysis, we are ready to place order with the next PCB. The same company that provides HQDFM software. Place order with the next PCB. A few days later, the PCB arrived and the quality is fantastic. Check out the board platforms. Link in a description down below. Let's move on to the components. For this project, I will be using ESP32 camera module. A slider switch, 3.7V lithium iron battery, L293D motor driver IC, IC base, N20 motors, TP4065 charging module, caster wheel, and don't forget the bug strips. All the buying links in the video description down below. Now let's assemble everything step by step. I am using two batteries to ensure we get enough voltage for our robot. And I am using 3D printed custom wheels to match the tiny form factor of the robot. You can download 3D files from my website called rizwansideas.com. Now the robot base is assembled. Let's move on to the PCB part 2. Before we attach the ESP32, we need to program it. To program ESP32 module via Arduino ID, you will need an Arduino Uno or TTL USB converter. Follow the connection diagram to hook up your ESP32 to TTL converter. Once connected, open the code in the Arduino ID. Now you will need a few changes, such as adding Wi-Fi name and password. Be sure to select the right board. ESP32 rover module and adjust settings accordingly. For a full explanation of the code, visit the project's log linked below. After uploading the code, disconnect the jumper wire. Open the serial monitor and press boot button. Ensure your Wi-Fi is turned on and module connect Wi-Fi automatically and you get an IP address. Copy and paste to your browser. And you see that the ESP32 camera is working perfectly. Now let's attach the camera module to the PCB. And uh, we got a small issue. The TP4065 can't charge two batteries because it is output only 4 volt. But we need at least 8 volt to charge the dual battery. The solution is a 2S battery charger. This module is perfect for charging two batteries and fits right into our setup. So now we can replace the modules. And the charging is solved. 
I add simple camera support over setup view and reduce vibrations using foam tape. And that's it. The tiny spy robot is now completed and it looks fantastic. What do you think? Let me know in the comment. Now it's time to real fun. Let's connect the robot to our smartphone. Open the browser, enter the IP address and you have full control of the spy car. Complete with a live camera feed. How it's cool that. This little robot can roam around with a live camera view direct onto your smartphone. And you can also connect PC or laptop as well. Thanks for sticking around until the end. As promised, here is a chance to enter the giveaway contest. To participate, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with your friends and drop a comment below. I'll pick 3 lucky winners to win these PCBs. The winner will be announced on my Instagram and YouTube post. So make sure you are following me on Instagram as well. If this video hits 10k views, the giveaway contest will be activated. And I see you in the next video.